thank you so much for joining we're back at it again of course nft shorts this is blockchain freedom right here the home of crypto and nfts i mean what else do you really want if you're a beginner join the patreon you know what it's about i'm talking about hand holding essentially you're just trying to get you up to speed you can watch all the videos online that you want there are tons and tons of videos available for content for for starting wallets for you know trading and x you know you fill in the blank with for, uh, for anything essentially but i'll definitely do a personalized experience we'll get on a call we'll, we'll i'll help you essentially get up to speed and and if you're not a beginner and you're looking for something a little more in depth and you're looking for some of my picks i don't want to say i've been picking the hottest ones and of course this is definitely not financial advice really but i do quite a bit of research and i think that some of the information i have might be quite useful to you so why don't we just get into it right now All right, so of course, if it's your first time here, I definitely want you to hit the like button. You know the deal. You've heard it before. Share it with a friend. Definitely subscribe and absolutely click the bell because a lot of this information is time sensitive and you know it. And if you don't, honestly, that's completely fine. But now you know, I'm telling you, it's not that it's coming from me that is so important. It's the fact that it, a lot of it is time sensitive. So if you want to catch the best numbers, check me early. Don't miss a beat get on the videos within minutes of them dropping, you might hear something amazing. So today I think is one of those examples of something that actually is coming really soon. And you might be able to catch it if you're early enough. So what we're looking at today, ladies and gentlemen, is called Crypto Blades. Now, of course, for those who are familiar with Oxbull Tech, you've probably seen this. Perhaps you've staked your OXB token so that you get your tier one benefits and you're, and you're on this on day one. So what this is, of course, it's a video game. It's a game and it's NFT driven. Of course, you know, that's the, the generation we're in right now. So I'll say this, the artwork looks pretty good. I was in the chats actually, you know, asking questions over the past few days to understand a little bit more about Crypto Blades. And Crypto Blades is essentially a web, a browser RPG. But th that that's still at the same time, not a lot of information to deal with. And hence the reason why they, the company will be having a, an AMA very soon is what they told me. I didn't get any specifics on dates, but that's the deal. So we won't be doing an absolutely super deep dive, but you can clearly see it's an award-winning team. Riveted Games is the name. As you see, they've worked with Unity, Steam. They've got games on Steam. I can show them and I will get to that. Independent Games Festival, as well as you see that big shiny IGN right there. That's the team. I've definitely been speaking to Philip Devine. He's the owner of Riveted Games. He's definitely in the chats unless somebody's, you know, playing his part for him with his photo. He's definitely answered my questions over the past few days. Now, I want to bring your attention to their roadmap, but we'll get to that in a moment. All right. Now, let's take a look at some of the games. Lightspeed Frontier wins the NGDC in Slovenia. So they definitely won an award and that was in 2017. So I won't go into all of the details, but I'm just going to show you perhaps a quick clip of one of the games. Now I'll get into the details a little bit in the sense that I believe the uh, Riveted Games actually published this game. If I'm not mistaken, I will definitely open it up in Steam to check it out, but let's just get a quick glimpse. Why not of, of the game in action? Let's just see what it's about. All right, so that's just a quick little introduction to the game. We're not, we're, like I said, we're not going to go all the way deep into it, but it has won some awards. And I, I said I would open it up on Steam, but I've definitely I've got the other game that they worked on, and I believe, it's, if I'm not mistaken, this one is in fact developed by Riveted Games. The other game, which is called Lightspeed Frontier, which I'll check in a moment, is published by them let's just take a quick look at what they're doing with nations at war 
seems to be a pretty, you know, one thing about Steam you'll notice is that very positive reviews. That is a huge thing for Steam because, you know, it's the people that speak and let it be known whether it's a good project or not. So this is a turn-based type of game. It might not necessarily be exactly what the game is that they're working on today. It might not be exactly like that, but, the, you know, I still want to show you this nonetheless. So I'll, I'll type this one in. It's called... What did I say? What's the name of the game? It's called Lightspeed Frontier. All right. So, all right. So, Lightspeed Frontier is available. And like I said, it is developed by Crowdwork Studios. And publisher is, of course, Riveted Games. So, I, I you know, I'm looking at these two games and, and I see customization. I see some nice 3D work. But again, like I said, they didn't develop this game. I just want to give you a glimpse of this, you know, why not? And let you hear a little bit of what's kind of what's going on over here, you know? It's very important to note, again, like I stated, the fact of the matter is that they have won awards and mostly positive, as well as other the other game was, you know, pretty much very positive reviews in a sense. So that's a key thing when you have games on Steam. It's the people, it's the community that speak. And um, that's good to know that they dropped this game and they received some some credit for it now. Some good uh, good response. Now, checking out their Twitter page, you'll notice they are brand new. Only 11 tweets. They've only been here since March 2021. They're such a young team. New in the sense, I don't want to, I can't really say they're so young, but it's a new team going on here for Crypto Blades. They're excited to be partnering with Oxbull, as you see, on their IDO you know very few likes and shares but again this is some early access information i definitely recommend you take a look at it all right oh there's another tweet i just saw 12 so they must have posted another tweet just moments ago 11 minutes ago okay so four days until ido you see it you're seeing that right before your eyes right there okay that that just went live a moment ago we're going to check out the medium page to get a little more information from oxbow so leveling up the DeFi gaming ecosystem crypto blades it was just released a few days ago this particular post i've read through it a couple of times let's take a look at the roadmap and i want to bring your eyes to may may 2021 game audit okay that is when they plan to get the game audit launch uh completed and the front end of the game will be launching in may so the IDO is in April. I'll give you the exact dates on that in a quick moment, but I just want to show you that they do have a roadmap. And for those out there who are looking for to catch some 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 gems early, you definitely want to make sure that you're on things up like up to date on things really really soon and and you're paying close attention. But what I'm saying is you got to make sure that again, this is not financial advice, but I I think it's a good idea to to ensure that a company has a good plan for the future at least for the calendar year, right? We've got a lot of options here. I'm not going to read through all of this. I definitely have. If you, you know, feel free to pause the video at any time to just read through this, these uh, defeating enemies, raids, staking, minting characters and things of that nature, open marketplace, you know, trade your weapons and, you know, lots, a lot of cool things going on there. Tokenomics, they broke it down again. We're not going to dive heavily into this. Uh, I do like that I don't see a lot of marketing dollars for tokenomics which is fine i mean you know people are getting paid to promote it and people are getting paid you know you know essentially like that but i see gameplay incentives ido development initial liquidity liquidity incentives i don't see any type of marketing so this is something that seems like it's really for the people for gamers for nft enthusiasts things like that now quickly i'm going to go through this super fast but check this page you'll see the ido the ido if you buy it early, what happens? Tier one, of course, again, let me make this clear. You'll get 25% of your tokens on day one. This will launch on the 12th. Okay, 16 UTC time time zone. 25% of your tokens will be, be released on the first day. And then essentially 75% will be released monthly for the next three subsequent months. So each month you get the, the next 25%. And that really helps with the product and, and making sure that the numbers don't just dump so fast because some people will get the early the early uh, tier access the pre-sale and then day one they're going to dump it so the, the price is going to go from let's say a dollar fifty 
up to three dollars and fifty or four dollars and it's going to go right back to like 80 cents as soon as everybody dumps this is to ensure that there's still some integrity and that the, the company can essentially have some legs to stand on that's that's the way i look at it i could be wrong tier one you could stake that's already closed as you see you would have to have staked this for by april 7th it's already too late it's april 8th as of this, this recording four thousand oxb or up to you know eight thousand in a different way so let's move off of that the next option the next option is to be on the short list and in order to do that you have to ensure that you stake four thousand oxb in your oxb to oxb farm prior to listing prior to the listing of this product essentially to be qualified for the shortlist participation you got to be there you got 30 minutes to buy all you want well i can't say all you want but there's a 200 bnb limit and then the the oh well, the uh, contribution caps shall be announced further essentially okay and then and also one transaction each qualified address will only be eligible for one transaction okay and the next one which a lot of you might be jumping into is the public sale rapid fire of course only 50 bnb allocation for that one so you might want to be quick the public sh public shall have buying time on the 11th remember the other guys or people pardon me get it on the 10th let me see if i if i've saying that correctly on the 10th yes on the 10th of april and then the public sale which is rapid fire and first come first serve i need to make it clear is at 230 to 3 utc you can grab these skill tokens on essentially the 11th if you haven't already registered early and then the product the um the, the project completely launches on the 12th the game is not going to be ready on the 12th however you can pay you can pay for it and, and buy your tokens on the 12th in, in the public sector so again this is an ox bull product as you see right here and if we take a look Scrolling down the Oxbow page, we're going to notice that, you know, people might be familiar with some of these names. I've definitely shared some with you before, but you'll notice that Crypto Blades is the latest. There's again, there's not a heavy amount of information on Crypto Blades available, but I, I've been in the chats. I've been asking questions and it's definitely building. The team has definitely won some awards. They're moving. They've have they have some credible experience and Again, like I was in the chats and they're actually present and answering questions. So as you see, Oxbull is has suffered some 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 lows, you know, massive, dare I say massive dumps, but people, you know, you see that right there, right? It dropped quite a bit from 330 to, to 170 essentially. But that was happening in the markets for you know a couple of days ago. Kind of anyway. I feel like a lot of things went down on the fourth or the fifth around in and around that time, starting around that time. So Oxbow may be okay as long as they have some more IDOs coming up. This is the last that they have announced, but I do think there's some, honestly, there's some really good potential for this, this here launch pad uh, incubator named Oxbow. But again, thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for your support. I definitely appreciate it. You know the deal, like it, share it, leave a comment. I definitely like comments. And if you haven't, if you haven't checked out my altcoin crypto Q&A, you should definitely check it out. I address some of the comments and questions. I appreciate everybody reaching out and being you know being open and and sharing with me leave in the comments let me know if you want me to start a telegram group and i'll definitely do that so that we can you know get this together what do you mean why not take it easy all the best nft shorts let's do it